Hello there, and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with another The Hunter Call of the Wild video. Now, in today's video, as per popular request, we are going to go through my Mississippi Acres single player map, and I'm just going to show you where I'm grinding for certain things, talk about how I'm grinding for certain things, and just try and answer a few of the questions that I have been asked. Just please bear in mind before we get started that this is my own map, yours might be slightly different, you might have your need zones in slightly different places, but based off of what I've seen from my map and from going into multiplayer, this will be at least hopefully fairly consistent. Now we're going to start off with this little island here in the south in the bottom left corner. This little island is an absolute little hotspot with hogs, female rabbits, grey fox, flocks of eastern turkeys and male and female gators will come here to rest. This is just an absolute gem of a spot because it is waterlocked on most sides. You can chase the animals around on here and they can't really get away and you can get quite a number of kills fairly quickly, especially on things like the grey fox, the rabbits and the hogs. Of course the turkeys can fly but even they, I've noticed on this island, will kind of get stuck sometimes. So this is a really, really good little hotspot and one that I definitely recommend you check out and just see what's hanging out here. I think, like, like me, a lot of people thought that you couldn't get over to this island, but if you come in sort of from the east, there is a, sort of here, is a reed bed and you can actually cross it and go through there and it's very shallow and you will actually be able to cross. Moving over into the, this little area sort of next to it now, and this area is also a really good spot for female rabbits, mainly female raccoons, but there is some males that get mixed in here, grey foxes, bob white quail, and the feral hogs, or wild hogs as they're called on this map. It is a really good little spot that if you run through, there is just a lot of animals in this area and you can get a number of them down fairly quickly. I will just run through these fields with guns in hand and just take out a lot of animals and hope to get some nice respawns. Now, you'll see that there are quail in this area and it is a good area for quail, but pretty much anywhere on this map where you see these fields with these big thick looking borders, these, are, these agricultural fields for the cotton and what I think is corn are all really good places to find the quail and shoot them. Obviously, you don't want to be shooting them when they're resting in the trees and in the underbrush. You want to catch them in the early morning when they're out here feeding in these fields. You will have hopefully seen the need zone time there when I hovered over the need zone. Moving over into the Three Gables area. And this little spot I did find some feed zones for whitetail, eastern turkeys, the cottontail rabbits, and also a, rest, a couple of rest zones for female black bears and also a drink zone for whitetail. And of course you do have the alligators in the river here. I've seen a few males but it's just not an ideal place to actually shoot them from what I've seen. But this little spot did have a few rabbits and a couple of solo turkey toms. So I've marked it with a decoy as somewhere that I will check in future on the map. Similarly to this area, this area here is a little bit of an open field even though you can't see it on the map but when you actually go here it is pretty open and I did have some female rabbits and also a couple more solo turkey toms feeding so I've dropped a tent there and a couple of decoys and I will check the area and just see if I do get any turkey respawns over there. Moving up into this little area just under the Jonesville name there and you can see that again we have these crop fields so these are again a really good spot for finding the quail when they're feeding in the early morning but it's also a good place to find the raccoons feeding now this area for me is mainly female raccoons but there is the odd male in here but it, like i said it is mainly females again there is also female rabbits in the area there are gray fox which there are gray fox pretty much everywhere on this map if you look for them I have had a couple of white-tailed deer sort of going back back more into the trees a little bit and also the female bears again, sort of back more towards where we were just looking at those turkeys. But as you'll see, we've got quail feed zones everywhere. So if you want to hunt the quail, the fox and the rabbits, do try looking in that sort of crop field area. But back through here, I have seen a couple of groups of whitetail, a couple of groups of turkeys out here. And of course, as I said, the bears feeding and resting as well. And you can see the zones popping up there in the bottom right corner. So 
hopefully go back i'll go back through there and maybe i can get some turkey respawns there wasn't the best places to actually set up to grind necessarily but they are spots that i will check in the future moving over to this little spot here and this is one of my favorite spots on the map especially to check in multiplayer so as you can see we are looking at a lookout point here called yarrow tower now the surrounding area for yarrow tower is a very big hot spot there are mainly female bears feeding in the fields but you will find males in the trees which i don't understand why they seem to stick to the trees but i only ever seem to see the females actually out eating in this field but there are whitetail that will feed and rest in the area, a grey fox that will feed and rest in the area, flocks of eastern turkeys that will feed in the area, and female rabbits as well. So this little spot is really, really good to check out for all of those species, and I definitely recommend it. Definitely one of my favourite spots to check, especially for turkeys, because finding the turkeys on this map can be a little bit trickier than finding turkeys on other maps, and I really like that nice open field there. Now, this is another location where I found some solo turkey toms actually feeding. It's a little bit of an odd area. Again, it's just a bit of an open clearing in a bit of a random spot. But again, I have marked it with a decoy so that I can check it out later. Now, this area here is again a really good spot as most of the areas on this map where there are agricultural fields are. And as you can see, we've got feed zones again for quail. We do have feed zones for female rabbits and rest zones for female rabbits. There are mainly male raccoons. I found mostly males in this area, which is really nice. And also, of course, the grey fox. Again, the grey fox are over the, the entire map, basically. But if you run through the fields in the early mornings, I like to run through the fields about 6am. You'll find so much wildlife foxes, raccoons, rabbits, white tail, which there are some white tail in that area as well. You'll just find so much and it's really amazing what you can actually kick up. Now this next little area here above where it says Horseshoe Bend on the map is one of my favourite spots in the entire map. This particular spot I found so much wildlife and so many good things. It's mainly male, male raccoons in this area. I think I've maybe only ever seen a couple of females. It's mainly males. There are the wild hogs, there are quail, there are grey fox, there are more female rabbits and female bears. Now the female rabbits are of course the ones you want to actually make diamond and I have had quite a few diamond ones from in this area as well as picking up a couple of grey piebald raccoon tracks in this area so definitely one of my favourite spots on the map and as you come up through this bit where it kind of goes into a pinch point before it opens back up into some more fields you can see here it's got a sort of a thick road going through the middle on the map this little spot particularly where these trees are is really good for finding resting raccoons i've pushed a lot of raccoons out through this area it's really really brilliant as you get near to where that lookout point is it does seem to end up being more female raccoons as you head out then into these fields so normally what i will then do is turn around and then come back through these fields and just see if there's any that i've missed that are sort of stragglers and then i'll try and take those out now this next spot is one that a lot of you guys actually asked about after my last video because this particular spot is where I had the two diamond turkeys in, in side by side flocks and a lot of you guys wondered where this spot is. Well it's right here, it's between this lookout point and the foothills lodge and this particular feed zone is really really good and normally has at least one flock but normally two or three flocks of turkeys there. So as you can see I do have a tree stand and decoy set up there and I do grind that spot quite a lot. And this spot is also really good. You guys can see the hunting pressure here. And this area does hold quite a lot of animals. So of course it does hold the turkeys, as you can probably see by the fact that there's decoys there. And this is actually where I shot a diamond, a couple of diamond level twos in previous videos. It also has grey foxes out feeding here in the morning. It also has female bears that feed here, white tail that feed here, female rabbits, and occasionally you'll even, even see the quails moving through as well so again a really good spot to check out 
and this is also a really good spot to check out this spot here is one of my favorite spots on the map to hunt male alligators now this little basically bit that comes off of the main river is just filled with male alligators that are pretty easy to see and to access and as you can see it's right above the foothills lodge you don't need a tent to access this area it's a really good place to grind and i have actually shot a diamond and a couple of rares off of here in multiplayer and single player so it is a very good spot to check you will also see the whitetail drinking along here but i don't pay them much attention on this map they seem particularly hard to grind on mississippi from everything i've heard and it's kind of reminiscent of late Leighton lakes so i'm not really paying much attention to the whitetail there but it's a really good spot for the male American alligators. And you'll notice I do have a tree stand there over part of the river. And I do have a tree stand here over part of the river as well. And I actually got that idea from uh, someone in the official hunter Facebook group who was using tree stands to hunt alligators and having good success with it. So I decided I'd try it in a few locations as well. And it does seem to be pretty efficient. As you can see, there are rest zones all along this particular part of the river. So what I'll do is set my t time to about 10 a.m. in game and then I'll sit up in that tree stand and as those gators head to their rest zones you can just sit and pick them off with brain or neck shots and they'll just float to you it's a really really good system similarly here this little bit where you can see there's two alligator rest zones right here is incredibly shallow the alligators have to run a good 100 to 150 meters at least before they can even reach any kind of water that's any anything deep at all so you can shoot them there and they can't really escape it's really good similarly this location here up to about here where the stress zone is is also really shallow and again full of male gators i have actually shot a diamond here that was running around back and forth in the water trying to escape because the water was just too shallow for him to be able to dive and i've had that happen quite a lot with just ordinary gators as well so again i find that that's a really really good spot to grind the male gators now taking a look at this section of crop fields here in the catfish bank area there are for me at least tons of the wild hogs in this particular area there are male rabbits gray fox quails as always and female raccoons and yeah it's a good spot for hunting hogs i ran through here earlier and i was just finding so many hogs and when i went into multiplayer and came to this area for the first time the first animals i saw were hogs there are a few of the rabbits as well as i said but as i said they are males so not particularly interesting in terms of looking for diamonds and the raccoons being female as well is similar on that account now the coast here on the very west side of the map is absolutely fantastic for male alligators and you will also see whitetail and grey fox drink zones along here but i hunt the male alligators here mostly and it's from about where my tent is to about where i've just placed that waypoint you will just get all of these alligator rest zones and this is a particularly fantastic area to hunt them because once they get out into slightly deeper water they actually kind of bug out and swim above the water and you can see i have a spotting icon for one here but whilst they're above the water you can actually shoot them so if you're not too bothered about actually recovering them which i I'm not if they're only small then you can just shoot them in the lungs whilst they're out there above the water giving you a perfect shot and get those extra respawns and that makes that particular spot really easy to grind and just because they're so visible on the coast as well i absolutely love it along there i've had diamonds and rares all along there fantastic spot to grind so taking a look at the next area and we're taking a look at this bit of land here in the Bingham Bayou and this location is fantastic for quails, male raccoons, grey fox, whitetail and female rabbits. You'll find all of those throughout this area through where the crop fields are. Again the crop fields being real hot spots of activity. Wherever you see these crop fields on the map go and run through them in the early morning whether it's on your map or in multiplayer and you'll find a lot of animals. I've actually found a absolute absolute ton of quails in this particular area and had a good time shooting them the other day.
And as you'll see, there is a Grey Fox feed zone there. I actually ended up finding a multiplayer server that had the same feed zone in that exact same location. But there was actually a melanistic female Grey Fox in that zone. So again, running through the fields in the morning, picking up tracks and seeing what their fur types are is just incredibly helpful. Now we're going to take a look at a couple of areas where I have found grey fox drinking. So as you can see I'm just showing off these couple of lakes where I found them drinking and of course here you can see the drink time of 17.30 to 20.30. But whilst I'm moving around the map and showing you the locations where I found them drinking I want to use this as an opportunity to say I don't hunt drink zones on Mississippi. I have so few drink zones dotted around the map as you've probably already seen compared to the number of feed and rest zones I have. I find it so much more efficient on Mississippi in particular to hunt feed and rest zones, which is completely different to any other map. I always say hunt the water and look for, you know, look for drink zones and look for animals in their drink zones. But I don't think I've had a single trophy. Actually, I've had one one trophy out of all of the trophies I've had off of Mississippi was in a drink zone and that was a white tail buck that was piebald and I accidentally found him whilst hunting alligators. So everything else, all of my rares and diamonds off of this map have come through just running through the fields, picking up tracks and yeah, running the river, looking for alligators resting and stuff like that. I just haven't found it that efficient to hunt the, hunt the drink zones for anything. This particular area near Pilgrim's Point, I haven't found a whole lot of mead zones in that area. It seems to be a little bit barren in comparison to the rest of the map, so not one of my favourite hotspots at all. However, this entire top section of the map very much is one of my favourite spots in this map. This entire top area is just littered with animals. It is absolutely awesome. So we're going to start off by taking a look at this lake in the Gator Lakes area and it is absolutely filled with male alligators. There are grey fox drink zones around this lake as well as white tail drinking zones. But again, as I mentioned, I don't really hunt the drinking zones very much and I really only hunt this lake to hunt the alligators. And as I said, it is completely full of male alligators. So this is a really, really good spot to check. I've had a couple of rares here and a couple of diamonds. So a really good spot to check. This little lake, for me at least, is mixed. It has male and female gators, as well as whitetail drinking around the edge. And then this tiny little lake here in the sort of the corner of all three of them only has female gators for me. So I don't really pay attention to that one. I only pay attention to where there are male gators. Now, these few locations I'm going to show next, um, I have seen others posting that they have grey fox drinking here. As you can see, I did have a grey fox zone here, but I don't have any up here. I did check before making this guide. And I also ran along here where I've seen other people have grey fox drinking zones with no luck at all. I didn't find any at all, even though it was at the correct time. And I was finding grey foxes, but just none that were actually drinking. So all along here, apparently you can find grey fox drinking, but again, I haven't actually found them there and I don't really hunt the drink zones. Now, moving on to perhaps my favourite gator hunting spot on the entire map is this lake here. This is Lake Ponola, as you can see the name just there below it. And you can see I have a tree stand in the middle of the lake. Now, as I mentioned, I saw someone else was doing this off of a Facebook post. I saw, you know, really good results coming from this lake from lots of different people. And basically, all you have to do is set a tree stand up in the middle of the lake. And it's shallow enough that you can walk to the middle of the lake if you go to the right spots. And if you just walk to that location where I have my tree stand and put one up, you can sit there, again I do it about 10am whilst all the gators are going into their resting zones and just shoot gators. I've had like six or seven gators dead at the bottom of my stand. It's really efficient and brilliant way of actually hunting them. So it's a very good place to farm gators if you're looking to get respawns and I absolutely love it. Now, along the coast and going sort of down into this bit of river, as you will see here, I have only seen and or heard female alligators to about here. 
and up here where these couple of small little lakes are i've only found female alligators you can see there's a rest zone there they were all females in here females here and females here so again not really paying much attention to those spots now i've seen what's in there i don't really want to end up with female rares if i can help it for the alligators so not paying too much attention to those spots but you can find alligators there so now moving down a little bit again and once again you can see all of these crop fields as marked by those sort of thick margins and this area is absolutely fantastic so i have a mixed population of raccoons through this area it's mainly males but there are females that show up a lot of the wild hogs i see quite a few of them sometimes solo males sometimes groups of course we do have the bob white quail that show up here the gray fox of course as they show up through every agricultural field you can find male rabbits there aren't females along here i've only found males and some white tail occasionally out feeding in these fields i haven't seen a lot of them i've only seen a few but they are there it is unfortunate there are only male rabbits here and interestingly enough i have actually found a couple of max weight male rabbit tracks and when i followed them they were only level two males that only made gold but you can actually find max weight cottontail rabbit tracks that 2.1 kg you can find them but whether they can make diamond in rare circumstances i don't know i've never seen one posted and the couple that i found never made it so it'd be really interesting if one does turn up and it's extremely rare but i have also seen level three male quails being posted and they are always trolls even if they are max weight and max score by, by the looks of it they always have been trolls i've never seen an actual diamond one posted i've only seen diamond level two females but this area, as I mentioned, is really good for all of those species. Again, early morning, about 6am, if you run through there, there's a good mix of different animals in that area and you can find an awful lot. Now, this is probably my favourite spot that I wanted to show off in this video. This area is incredible. It is absolutely full to the brim with animals and I didn't realise it to start off with and then I've gone through here and I've found so much. So in this area, which is kind of like a forest, it's just loads of trees with occasional clearings that you'll find animals feeding in, it is full of male bears, male rabbits, white tail, grey foxes and solo turkey toms which is just incredible. It was actually in this area that I had that weird, just random level three that flew over the top of my head the other day in a video. Um, it was in this area. And so I decided I would come back and run through and see what I could find. And there was just rest zones and feed zones for animals absolutely everywhere, as you can see from where I'm sort of moving my cursor through. And I've set up decoys in all of the areas where I found male turkeys. So you can see I have a few of them set up. And also those areas where those deco decoys are are clearings. And all of these areas where the feed zones are are little open areas. And they are just full of, of life. You just don't see it normally because it's all hidden behind the trees. But if you actually put the time in and run through and go and look for these openings, there's so much in here. And actually a clip that I'm going to show you guys later as as I was running through here, shooting turkeys and setting up decoys where I had seen turkeys as little markers, I ended up shooting one that actually made diamond as a level two. And it was just a random turkey. So definitely if you're looking for turkeys, recommend this spot. If you're looking for diamond bears, Bears, I highly recommend this spot. If you're looking for grey foxes, I highly recommend this spot. This is actually where I found my melanistic the other day, was up in this area. It's just fantastic. And again, one of those spots that I didn't realise was so good until I actually spent the time to go and look through it. So that is going to be it in terms of going through the map. We're now going to move on to a couple of highlight clips that I've had from the past couple of days as I've been running around trying to record this. I hope that this has been in some way helpful and shown you guys the spots that you wanted to know about. And if you have any questions at all about anything, please feel free to let me know down in the comments and I will respond to as many as I possibly can. So let's move on to the highlights. So firstly, I have to show you guys where the thumbnail picture came from. So here I am running out to the tree stand in the middle of Lake Panola, I think it's called, where I have the tree stand in the middle of the lake to hunt alligators. 
and I spotted a not very happy alligator coming my way. And this is what I mean about the fact that they can still swim around, even though this this part of the lake is really shallow. And honestly, props to the person that actually discovered this as a method. I don't know exactly who it was that actually started it off. But as I said, I saw a number of people having success with this particular spot and this particular method. So I just had to try it out. And it's really, really fun, especially when you have encounters like this. You don't see the alligators going aggressive a whole lot. And even though it said defensive, I would still very much count that as an aggressive encounter because he definitely came for me and had a snap at me there. And seeing as he was only small, I decided I would just pelt him with M1 rounds and hopefully try and bring him down. And this is another advantage of this spot, is even while they're fleeing, the water is so shallow in most places that you can still get repetitive hits into them. And I've done this with a number of them while sat up in that tree stand, and it's just been absolutely fantastic. I've also noticed that it seems to be incredibly easy to make brain and neck shots whilst you're actually above them. I seem to be hitting them without even trying too hard. So again, I definitely recommend trying out this tree stand in the middle of the lake thing. Again, credit to whoever it was that discovered that. It's an absolutely awesome spot. So this was from earlier today when I was running around looking to add more zones to my map in order to do this video. And as I said, I was running around through the forest that I showed off there at the end of the map section and I was basically just using turkey decoys to mark out any locations where I was finding turkeys. And as you will have seen, there was a pretty decent sized turkey tom there. And I decided what I would do is just quickly pop in with the 22, pick up these zones as I moved through so that I had them added to the map. And as you can see, my map's not quite as full as it is um, where when I just showed it off just now. But I got a feed zone there for a turkey and a feed zone for a rabbit. And I came over here, immediately got the decoys out so I could just put a few down and then at least I could check this area again and see if any toms had come up again in future. And then I picked this guy up and he actually made diamond at 4.6. So again, another diamond level 2 eastern turkey. And I just thought it was so funny seeing as I was showing off spots that hopefully if you guys are struggling to find these guys, you can actually go and check out on your own map. And just by pure and utter accident ended up shooting a diamond. I really wasn't paying much attention when I shot this guy. So when I picked him up and saw that diamond pop up, it was a really, really nice surprise, I must say. And moving on to another clip that was a very nice surprise. I have been, as I mentioned, grinding the American alligators in search of an albino and a melanistic for the trophy lodge. And I was running that west coast that I showed you guys that I like to hunt for the male alligators. And I spotted a level 7 that was completely submerged and resting. So I ran towards him to make him go alert. And he turned around, walked on to shore, and I could see that he was very clearly a piebald. Now, all of the piebalds that I have shot have all been really small. None of them have made gold. They've all been silvers. So I was really, really excited to see a level 7 piebald because that meant that this guy was definitely going to make gold if I could make the shot and that he would be going straight into the trophy lodge. Because as I said before, I do already have all of the piebald variations that are known of for the American alligators. And at this point, I'd say it's probably quite safe to say that those are the, the all the patterns, all five of them. So if I can get any to improve the ones in the trophy lodge, then I'm really happy with that. And this guy actually opened his mouth there, which made it a lot easier for me to see where I wanted to place my shot. And as you can see, absolutely managed to floor him there with the M1. He didn't move after being hit with that shot, which is always the best. It's always really, really satisfying to see their health just go to zero immediately and know that you've made that shot. And this is a really nice looking piebald, 410 exactly, gold piebald alligator. And that shot wasn't quite what I was expecting. I was going for upper neck, but ended up hitting brain, which I've not made many brain shots on the alligators. So I was pretty happy with that. A really nice one to actually end up getting that shot on. And talking of animals that turned up and surprised me, 
this guy was another one this guy was actually in that little bit of river i showed you above the foothills lodge and i was running through shooting all the alligators when i spotted this one actually run past and i didn't take any shots at him because i didn't want to ruin him because that is a mythical piebald and this is the low white or low pied variation of the piebald pattern he's only got a little bit of piebald on his face his tail and one of his feet but I actually think this pattern is really cool. It's very subtle, but when you actually put this on the wall with this pattern, it actually looks really good. And as you can see, as he led there, managed to make a neck shot with the M1. Not quite as cool of a drop shot as with the previous one, but still brought him down plenty quickly. And I knew that this guy was definitely going to be a really good size rare absolutely stunning always happy to add more of these to the trophy lodge and he is a mythical piebald and by gosh he's quite big at full 77.10 by far the biggest one i've ever seen for me personally which is awesome if i ended up having a piebald level 9 show up on my map i don't know what i would do if I could ever get a super rare alligator, I think that would be the coolest thing ever. That would by far be, I would be so happy to get a super rare alligator. But my gosh, this guy is huge. 477.10 is a really good size mythical gold piebald alligator. Really, really happy with that. He's going to replace a much smaller, I think, level 5 or level 4. So that's really, really awesome to improve. Now onto the last clip of this entire video and one that I was particularly excited to share with you guys. As I was running around making this video and just double checking some stuff, I ended up picking up this track, a melanistic female eastern cottontail track. And there she is, a pure black eastern cottontail. How stunning does this look? These guys are really rare and I've been shooting a lot of them in hopes that a melanistic would actually turn up as I already have a leucistic and an albino in the trophy lodge. So this is the only rare I needed for them. And honestly, I was so excited to pick up that track. I th This couldn't have gone any better. And again, a complete and utter surprise. Again, just running through the fields, picking up tracks. It just goes to show exactly what I've been talking about this entire video. Just as I was making it, I ended up getting this. And how beautiful is that? That shiny fur. Oh my gosh, so pretty. So I'm going to use the fur as a background here. Melanistic female rabbit how beautiful is that and i actually haven't had time to post this anywhere yet as i literally went straight into making this video after finding her so this is going to be anyone's first look at actually seeing her and i'm so ecstatic to finally get one but that is going to be it for this video guys i hope you have enjoyed it i know it was a bit of a longer one but i hope that i've gone through and been thorough enough to answer at least most of your questions again if you do have any other questions please feel free to leave them down in the comments and i will do my best to answer them as always but I must say, seeing as what day it is, Happy New Year to you all. Thank you all so much for all of your support over the past year on the channel. It's been absolutely incredible and I cannot wait to see what happens in the next year. Thank you all so much as always and I'll see you guys in the next one.